look is a, I mean, it's a huge experiment, so it's uh, changing uh, regularly. It's a social platform for um, for fashion designers and their fans. We were very much um, fascinated, obviously, um, by the, how powerful actually internet can be in transforming whole industries. And it's not small industries, but huge industries like, you know, media, like, like music, like gaming. And, and we saw, obviously, like this huge vertical, uh, which is the fashion industry. And we were also like super, super excited about everything like product which is social in its core and fashion products that would definitely cater to, to that. So, I mean, honestly, like Central Europe is, I mean, maybe it's a nice region in terms of nature, but it's definitely a desert in terms of like building companies, especially internet companies. So we had London and Berlin. And, and London seemed to be more, more, more interesting for us. Still London is, is just like more embedded and, and more connected. We are 14 people. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, dev team is in Bulgaria and headquarters here. He was here, like the hotel management and all that. Okay. So uh, I knew that you know we need a CTO. Uh, we need uh, a, a amazing designer. We are religious about design, um, and this is like how 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 I got people involved and um, and the very first sort of co-founders basically. To be honest, like I think it's there's so much mystery around this, but actually it's so incredibly simple in my opinion. First of all, yeah, of course, it takes a lot of lot of efforts, especially if you're a first-time entrepreneur. I think it's really a big issue for a first-time entrepreneur, never uh, for like two entrepreneurs who have already networks. We got the first angel on in um, uh, like the best angels in, in Austria, yeah. and then through seed can be uh, uh, we could be very able again to, to get in the best angels and and um, in, in the on a, let's say, or European and Europe and or trans, trans European, trans American um, uh, region, uh, we were able to to get in uh, uh, one of the founders of Netaporte, which is obviously for us for vertical, uh, uh, great need ventures. Uh, these investors are totally like addicted to data and to like validation of what you do, and the more validation you have. Um, the easier is, uh, is going to be to raise money. So really take care of that and then the rest will follow and it's really like that. Like if you don't have that, that information, if, if you don't have like clear funnels, if you don't have um, um, a proven way how to, that you put money in here and this how, how much money comes out uh, down there, then anyways, it's, it's not, not easy and uh, to raise money. Yeah. Focus on the product, figure out something and, and, then, and then money flows like this yeah. <laughs> but being at all these events and then you know, know this person you know that person you know this person that person and, and, and you, you, you climb up the ladder and this industry lives with like reputation and validation like yeah. if you don't honor with the right people honor the city the right people you are like absolutely nobody yeah? and which by the way I don't really like about this industry There are so many memories, I mean, yeah. we did so many things. Again, like a lot of interesting memories when we did fundraising. And honestly, like again, like we started out of Central Europe, which is a desert uh, from that perspective. And we were really like, drew till Moscow to, to, uh, to raise money. Like we were standing at the Red Square end of November and, 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 and we were like in that whole like Russian money scene. It was really, really yeah. ridiculous, like totally ridiculous things. And then, you know, basically down to kind of like, that we come to London and, and sleep in like uh, pitch VCs and, and daytime and evenings yeah. in, in a like 20, 20 bed um, hostel. Yeah. So right. so these kind of like extremes, uh, yeah. th thousands of. But I mean, this is why we do that, right? I mean, sure. uh, I think every entrepreneur has to have these um, experiences because otherwise you, uh, you just you probably miss something or just not there yet. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's it's life of extremes, and this is what we love. Startup, you wouldn't survive if you are. You cannot, you know. Like basically, you, you don't have the attitude of like um, finding work for yourself. So this means if you if you're a person, you, you need to be told what to do. You're not going to survive because at the startup, nobody is going to tell you what to do. Even if there are like minimalistic hierarchies, still it's uh, it's expected from you that that you are um, self-driven.
because you are the startup, you are driven also by by a higher goal and just like you know uh, earning money. Uh, I think uh, the time is getting just not that absolute. It's not that an absolute figure as uh, as it normally is in, in classical jobs. So you really are available 24/7, but it doesn't mean that you work 24/7. But you are there because yeah. you know that you are again you are needed. Oh my God, biggest challenge. Yeah. Oh, there's so many challenges like, all the time. Like, I, th I tell you, like, like I could not tell you like classical things like fundraising and closing, but yeah. actually, actually, to be honest, like for me, the biggest challenge is my consumer. Yeah. So like to build really something which people where we have really this pulling effect from people and they love it. Yeah. Uh, like so, what I see is, for instance, people love what we do, and there's a huge emotional connection towards what we try to do. So I think my biggest advice is really again customer. So listen to your customer, build, make small steps, validate, uh, uh, data, be data driven, and um, validate your assumptions as fast as possible. And if something is working, then this is when you should put money on, 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 onto it. So okay. don't do like huge PR campaigns yeah. and marketing. Uh, don't spend VC money on marketing because I think this is the worst way of using equity. Uh, I mean money which for which you gave a, a lot of equity, right? Yeah. Do what you hundred percent are, are you know, want to do as like twenty four seven and. Yeah. And, and for me it was clear that it's not a classical career path, um, but something doing my, for myself. Um, and with something with a bigger vision behind. So this means not just like, so basically not for just earning, for the sake of earning money, but, but more for the sake of like, just like doing a difference. And right now it's this vertical, and the next one will be another vertical, and the third one will be another vertical. So, so classical entrepreneurial aspirations.